to this. A bullet couldn't stop Trump. A virus just stopped Biden. You've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. God don't like ugly is what they used to tell me when I was growing up. And the Democrat Party has tried everything to take down Donald Trump. They tried to assassinate his character politically. They tried to assassinate his character. They tried to put him in jail. And somebody even took a shot at him. And he's still standing firm. You go, Trump. Now, after all that has failed, they've still been trying to convince Biden to step down. And Biden defiantly says, no, I'm not stepping down unless God takes me out. If you can be convinced that you cannot defeat Donald Trump, will you stand down? Well, it depends on if, if the Lord Almighty comes out and tells me that, I might do that. Recently, he had an interview, and let's hear what he had to say. Is there anything that you would look to, you personally, not anybody else, not other pundits, not even perhaps family members, that you would look to to say, if I see that, I will reevaluate? If there had some medical condition that emerged, if somebody, if the doctors came to me and said, you got this problem, that problem, but I made a serious mistake on the, in, the, in the whole debate. And... Uh, and look, when I originally ran, you may remember it, I said I was going to be a transitional candidate. And I thought that I'd be able to move from this, just pass it on to someone else. But I didn't anticipate things getting so, so, so divided. Now, you cannot trust a word from this party here, okay? He says if he gets sick, he might step down. All right? 2020 debate. He was standing on stage with Kamala Harris, and he says this. It's in private. She'll say, I think we should do A, B, C, or D. Okay. And I'll say, I, don't, I like A, don't like B oh. and C. Mm -hmm. And it's go, okay. But, and I, like I told Barack, if, if, if I reach something where there's a, a fundamental disagreement we have based on a moral principle, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll develop some disease and say I have to resign. Wow. Okay. So, you might come down with a sickness, you say, right? All right, so here we go. Breaking news. Joe Biden got COVID. Breaking tonight. Earlier, we just reported uh, that the president has COVID. He canceled his event in Las Vegas. A speech there, he's tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, the White House saying he is vaccinated and boosted. He's experiencing mild symptoms. He will be returning now to Delaware, where we're told he will self isolate and will continue to carry out all of his duties fully during that time. Great timing, right? Great timing, Joe. Great timing. Now, I said this from uh, a couple of weeks ago. We need Joe Biden to stay in all the way till July 21st, because after July 21st, it's kind of too late. You got to find new delegates and the tickets and the ballots is already printed out already. So they've been trying to urge Joe Biden to step down way before. Even Adam Schiff. 
And Representative Adam Schiff, he is one of the most high-profile Democrats to publicly call on President Biden to step aside. In a statement sent to us, I just want to read to you exactly what he said. He said, a second Trump presidency will undermine the very foundation of our democracy, and I have serious concerns about whether the president can defeat Donald Trump in November. He goes on to say, while the choice to withdraw from the campaign is President Biden's alone, I believe it is time for him to pass the torch and in doing so secure his legacy of leadership by allowing us to defeat Donald Trump in the upcoming election. Now, his darling, Nancy Pelosi, has even chimed in and says, Joe, step down. Breaking overnight, there are new developments in the Democratic Party's concerns over President Biden's capability to win the election. Now, former Speaker Nancy Pelosi has confronted Biden. The extraordinarily candid confrontation happened last week. Pelosi reportedly told Biden that she and other Democratic lawmakers worry he's dragging down the party. She also warned him that criticism will grow louder within the party and urged him to make a decision about stepping down soon. The news about Pelosi comes after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries told Biden in separate conversations that it would be best for him and the country to end his campaign. And now all of a sudden he got the COVID. Yeah. Sunday is the 21st. Right now he might step down. This might be it. I don't want him to come down. I want him to stay all the way through November. Him and Kamala. Okay, but it looks like the pressure is on and they urging Joe Biden to step his monkey ass down. So the fat lady has come out and start warming up. And it looks like Joe Biden is going to step down pretty soon. What a shame. What a shame, Joe. You had to go out like that. You had to come down with the COVID, even though you said that if you got the COVID shot and the booster, you will not get sick or you won't be able to pass it on to nobody else. If you're vaccinated and boosted, you are highly protected. So there's no excuse, no excuse for anyone being unvaccinated. This continues to be a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Now, we all know that uh, MSNBC is nothing but cuckoo birds over there, right? And the star cuckoo bird is... Joe Reed. Now, Joe Reed gets on TV and she fix her face and say this. That's the question that I have on that. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation. We'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, th- and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. This uh, uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? that he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? It, it should. I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same incident, but it's all it's an elderly man it, coming through out of an illness. It, yes. She says, if Joe Biden beats the COVID as an old frail man, <laughs> they need to circle the wagon and embrace him, just like MAGA is embracing Donald Trump's over his attempted shooting. Yeah. Joe Reed, everybody. Joe Reed. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. What a shame. Man, Joe Biden, I hate for you to go out like that. I really want you to see, you know, fight to the end, fight to November, and see who's the real man. But. It looks like you're going to tap out. Blech. Unbelievable. Hey, right? You tried. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you sicklies, get your ass off my lawn.